Okay, this is the video where I'm gonna show you how to set up your Bosch Solution 2000 or 3000 to send you alerts on your mobile phone if the alarm is triggered. So you've gotta have an analog phone line connected to your panel for that to happen. Um, you cannot have a VoIP line. If you've already switched to the NBN and you no longer have a phone line, well, this isn't gonna work for you. If you've got the Bosch Solution 2000 or 3000 and you don't have an analog phone line, I'd recommend you look at the Bosch RSC Plus app. I cover how to install that in one of the other videos in this series. Um, if you're really uh, keen on getting the mobile phone alerts, you can get a wireless 4G router with a, a, a telephone socket. Now, I've got one here that I'm using. I don't have a phone line here anymore, so I use this um, wireless 4G router. It's got Wi-Fi. I'll just flip it over on the back. It runs from 12 volts. You put a SIM card in it. Um, you've got Ethernet connectors. You've got Wi-Fi. And most importantly, you've got these two telephone ports. So I can run uh, one of these dialers through this and the, the panel thinks it's dialing out through an analog phone line. So I'll put a link in the description there. It's just a 4G wireless router. You can get them anywhere. You can't always get them with the phone ports. That's why I like this one. And that's um, something you can do if you're really keen on getting mobile phone alerts to work, but you don't have an analog phone line. All right, uh, let's have a look and uh, I'll open the, the lid here. This is the 4,000, sorry, this is the Solution 3000. The 2000 looks almost identical, but if you have got a phone line connected, it's gonna be here. So if you don't have a lead connected in that socket you probably don't have well you definitely don't have the phone connected if you have got a lead connected into there and you still have an analog phone line at home the chances are good that um, the phone line is connected to the alarm panel okay so what we'll do now is head over to the keypad go into program mode and change the settings that we need to uh, set up the mobile phone alerts Okay, we're at the code pad. Let's get in there and change the settings that we need to set up the mobile phone alerts on the Bosch 2000 or 3000. So you're gonna need the installer code for this. So if you don't have the installer code, stop now, go back to video 101 and it'll show you how to default and reprogram the system. Okay, now mobile phone alerts are the most basic sort of monitoring that you can get. If your alarm's triggered, you'll get a call on your mobile phone and when you answer the phone, you'll hear a siren tone. Eeyore, 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 and that's the indication that your alarm's been triggered. It doesn't tell you which zone's been triggered. It could be one zone, it could be five zones. It doesn't tell you, it's just a general alarm. Okay, so to get into uh, these settings, we need the installer programming mode, as I said. So let's go in there now. The default code is one, two, three, four, followed by away. I'm in installer programming mode because I've got both stay and away indicators flashing. Now there are two settings that we need to go in there and change. The first is, um, location 33, so we jump to 33 by pushing 33 and away. It, there's currently a one in there, that tells the alarm panel to dial a monitoring station, we don't want that, we're gonna tell it to dial a mobile phone by pressing four and saving it with the stay button. Now we need to go over to location 177, so I do that by hitting 177, pressing away, and we need to turn the dialer on here. So there should be a nine in this location. We don't have anything there, so we're gonna put a nine in there by pressing nine, saving it with the stay button, and we're done. Now we can hop out of programming mode with nine, six, zero, and away, and those settings have been saved. So we've turned our dialer on, and we've told it to dial the mobile phone. Okay, now we need to program the telephone numbers that the system will dial. Uh, on this version of the control panel, for some reason, it can only dial two numbers. Previous versions allowed it to dial three numbers. So you can, uh, we'll, we, we're just gonna cover two phone numbers here. So to do that, we need our master user code, not the installer code, the master user code, and that defaults to 2580. So let's get in there and change or add the first phone number to the system. So to do that, we enter our master user code, which is 2580, followed by two, followed by away, we get the two, uh, the staying away icons flashing. Now we tell it which telephone number we're going to program. I'm gonna program telephone number one. So I press one and away. Now, there's already a phone number in there and it's flashing out the digits one by one. So that's the phone number that's already programmed into the system. Now I can't change, I've gotta wait for it to display the phone number before I put my uh, new phone number in there. So now that it's giving me the double beeps and it's finished displaying the phone number, I'm just gonna program my new number, so we just put the number in as if we were dialing it on the phone. When we're finished entering the number, we store it by pressing the away button. Now, it's jumped us out of programming mode now. If we wanna add the second phone number, 
we do that same procedure again, except this time we'll press number two to indicate that we're gonna add telephone number two. So again, the procedure, master user code, followed by two, followed by away. We wanna program phone number two because we've already done phone number one. So we hit two and away. There's already a phone number in there. This is just a dummy number that I was playing around with. So it's finished displaying that number. So now I can put my second phone number in. So this is the second number that the alarm will dial if the alarm is triggered. Once I've entered that number, I save it with the away button. It jumps us out of programming mode again, and we're ready to go. So what I'll do now is uh, get the system set up so that we can do a test and make sure that when the alarm is triggered that we get the alarm on our mobile phone. Right, let's demonstrate the mobile phone alert. Uh, to do our test, I've got a motion sensor set up here on our Solution 3000. It's triggering zone two. I've also got a strobe light connected so when the, when the sensor goes into alarm, we'll know we've got an alarm because the strobe light will be flashing and I've got the siren connected, but I've turned it way down so it won't be annoying. And I've set the exit delay to five seconds so it, the, the test will be quick. So what I'm gonna do now is arm the system after the exit delay, we'll trigger the motion sensor. We'll know the system's been triggered because the siren will start sounding, the strobe light will start flashing, and a few seconds later, the mobile phone will ring. When the phone rings, I'll answer the phone. You'll hear the siren tone, followed by a pause. Then the siren tone will repeat, then there'll be another pause. Then the siren tone will repeat, then there'll be another pause. And that will continue. The system's waiting for me to acknowledge the call. I acknowledge the call by pressing the star button on the, uh, on the phone's code pad. So acknowledging, acknowledging the call means that the panel knows that I've answered the call, I'm gonna to respond to the alarm, and it doesn't need to ring the second person on the list or the third person on the list. If I didn't answer the phone, the, phone, uh, the panel would hang up, and then it would dial the second number. If that person didn't acknowledge the phone, it would hang up and dial the third number. So let's arm the system now. Okay, there's the exit delay. Exit delay has finished. So now the system's armed and ready to detect. So I'm gonna trigger um, the motion sensor. Okay, the system's gone into alarm. Siren's going, strobe lights flashing, alarm on zone two. I'm just gonna reposition the, uh, the camera so that we can see the phone. So there's the phone ringing now. I'm gonna answer the phone. I'll go on a hands-free and I'll bring up the code pad. Okay, so there's the first round of the siren tone. Siren tone, there's the pause. Siren tone. There's the pause. Now in the next pause, I'm gonna hit the star button to acknowledge it. So if I hit, in the pause, I hit the star button. And, okay, and the system hang, hung up and we heard that descending tone. Duh, duh, duh. That tells the system that we have um, acknowledged the call and it won't ring the second phone number. I hope that makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna do another quick uh, demonstration on how to receive and acknowledge calls on the phone. It got a bit crazy there, didn't it, with all the sirens ringing and beeps and flashes and mobile phone calling. So what I'll do now is we've got no noise here. I'll go and generate an alarm from the system and then we'll have um, the phone ringing and we can just go sh through that a second time just to make sure you understand what happens. Okay, so there's the phone call coming through. I'll answer the call. I'll go on to hands-free so that we can hear it and bring up the keypad. Perhaps we can just turn that down a little bit. Okay, so that's what you'll hear if, if the alarm is triggered. You'll answer the phone, you'll hear the siren tone, then you'll hear a pause. Then you'll hear the siren tone repeat. Then you'll hear a pause. That tells me that the alarm's been triggered. Doesn't tell me which zone, just tells me that the alarm's gone off at home. To acknowledge the call, in the pause and only in the pause, I press the star key. Then I hear that step down tone. That tells me that I've acknowledged the call and it'll hang up and it won't ring the next person on the list. But if I don't acknowledge the call, either because I didn't hear the phone call or my battery was flat or the phone was in the car, then it will uh, try me for 30 seconds and then it will hang up and then it will ring the next person on the list.
Okay, so hopefully that demonstration made sense. It sort of got a bit hectic there, didn't it, with the siren tone and the phone ringing and the alert tone and all that stuff going on. But at least you get to see what to expect. So there'll be a cheat sheet in the description below and it's just a procedure. You just program it step by step by step. I've shown lots of people how to do this. It's a very easy thing. I'm sure you can do it. It'll take you two minutes. Uh, but it's good to have a video so that you can actually see what to expect. You don't always get the full story, for me anyway, from a cheat sheet. Um, so hopefully we've achieved that. Um, thanks for watching. Um, hope you learned something. Leave any comments that you like below. I'll try and get back to them as soon as I can. I'm a bit busy at the moment. Got a fair bit on the plate. But uh, I will get back to comments eventually. And again, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.